To have a successful career in football requires a lot. The modern game requires talented, skilled and gifted players. To get to the top and remain at the top, talent isn't enough. The game has developed into a multi-billion dollar business and so much more is therefore required. A professional footballer needs to be talented and skilled first and foremost, train regularly, hit LD Muse, good coaching and good representative. The lifespan of an elite footballer is at most let's say 15 years. So meaning any wrong move can't be easily reversed. Even though football is, is the most watched and financed sport in Africa, the whole around management of the game hasn't been encouraging, which has hindered the discovery, growth and development of young talent at the grassroots. Education and coaching at the grassroots in particular is a key component that is missing for most African and Nigerian footballers. And hence, they find it very hard to compete at the highest level. Many players who eventually make it or get to a professional club in Nigeria have also faced with delayed salary, poor or no sign-on fees, poor administration and management. Hence, it has become the goal of every Nigerian player to seek greener pastures abroad. Even in other better run African leagues in countries like South Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia. But for most, the prime destination is Europe. The situation has gotten worse that many don't care about the division or the league they are going to. As long as they are paid, this desperation has led many into the hands of fake agents who collect money from these players with a promise of a trial or contract with high salaries with big clubs abroad, only to be abandoned and left to rot. American players in Istanbul without gloves are falling prey to some of these schemes. In this video, I'll be speaking with an ex footballer who is in Nigeria and has played here on some of the state of football in Turkey and what an intended player from Africa and Nigeria should know before they come to Turkey. My name is Sheikh Ayamu and if this is your very first time of watching, please do us a favor, click the subscribe button and make sure you leave your notification bell turned on so you get notified each time we post a new video. Yeah, um, my name is uh, Jude Ingo. Yeah, that was uh, 2000 and 2002. I came to Turkey. Uh, I came with a manager. So I came to one state they call Izmir, it's a professional team. They call it Kujeli Sport. So we are two in number that came to Turkey. Me and my friend, he plays in Eimba. So I was playing in Concord, Abiyokuta. So that was my traveling to, that's how I came to Turkey as a football player. Yeah, every player has a prospect. Uh, if I knew that Turkey is so different in kind of football, not like the real European sister, I would have come to Turkey. But I won't say I regretted it, but a bit. Because I think the Europe part is more better than the Turkey concerning the football issue. Yeah, when I came, the standard was okay. Yeah, but now the standard, they, they have laws in Turkey so much that is affecting the upcoming players because they are not frequenting the, the foreigners. They don't want to put them in their leagues. Like for instance, the Division 3 side, Division 2 side, and the Division 1 side, they call it Division 2A. You understand? So it's only foreigners that can play that Division 1. Only for, uh, two foreigners. Then the Division 2, foreigners cannot play at all. Division three foreigners cannot play at all. So it makes it so difficult for the foreigners that are coming to Turkey. So difficult to play. So if you're coming to Turkey, then I think you have need to get a direct link that will link it direct to the club. If not, you find it difficult. Yeah, the first time I came, it was amazing. I stayed there about uh, four months. It was a, a winter period, you know. So the first trial, it was very difficult. I couldn't put on my football boots because the weather is so cold and the food, I, I, I was just eating bread, bread and uh, roasted chicken. 
because I don't know anything to eat, like what is their kebab now, you know, I'm used to it. You will just eat bread, drink coke, you go to the field, all what they are bringing is for uh, Turkish food. So they cold mostly. If you put on your boot, it's like you are from the fridge, refrigerator. You can't wear the boot. So my coaches, they advise me, they give me uh, this cellophane. I'll first of all put on the cellophane before I put on my oats to put on my boots so I can play. So really it's very difficult, the weather condition, very affecting. Anything foreign football you can't compare to Nigeria. Nigeria is nothing about football. Uh, no matter how the situation in Turkey, Turkey, you see, look at the players, the, the young team, they start from the young team. They have academics, football school. So you can't come Nigeria, we don't have those qualities. We don't have anything concerning sports. So everybody just like, the players that are here now, they just play street football. Some didn't play academic, they don't even know the system. So it's very difficult. They will just play the street, they come to Turkey and say, you are a football player. So the football system in Nigeria is far different from here. The quality in Turkey is different from the quality in Nigeria. That is why you see the Europe part, they are better than us in Africa. Yeah, we have the strength, we have the skills, but we can't exhibit the skills because nobody to teach us what to do. But when you come to Europe, opportunity to come to Europe, then you get good knowledge about football, good studies about football. You meet foreign coaches, they teach you how to play. So the basic football is in Europe, not in Africa. No, it's not possible. If you are talented, every player you have to get a manager, a reliable manager that can fix you to a team. You can't travel because you are a talented player to a country. You don't know anybody. You'll be stranded. Because even the professional side, they, just, they don't just pick you because you are talented. talented. They just put you into the field and train with them. It's not possible. Then you have the connection. You, have the, you need to get the contact, the connection to get into the, to fix into the team. And that connection is the manager. If you don't have a manager, you will get roasted. You can't play. So you have to get a very reliable manager that can stand for you. A FIFA manager, real one. Yeah, the causes is that. One, they don't have a manager. Two, they don't play in Nigeria. They just play street football. They came to Turkey. You can't suit the white people. They are talented here. We have strength. We believe on our strength. But we are not talented enough. And this society, they didn't give that permission to play the foreigners. We are, we are good players, yeah, they can play if you fix them. But they don't have that opportunity because they don't have name, they are not in the goggle, they are not in the system, they are not in the youth, they've not played before. So they want to start their career here. Yeah. And these people, they want already made players. That is the problem here in Turkey. And the teams, sorry, the teams again, they, they don't allow foreigners, like what I said earlier. The Division 2, Division 3, they are not allowing the foreigners to play. So it's very difficult. For a player who never play anywhere before, you just come to Turkey, you want to play, it's difficult. If you have a, an agent in Nigeria, you must know the contact of the agent. How quality is the agent, then how quality you are as a player. You don't just pay money to agent. You can't pay money to agent to travel. You need, agent need to take care of you. If you're a good player, your agent will take care of you. You understand? It can bring you abroad. It search for a club for you. You as a player, you can't search for a club. Your agent, the opportunity and the greatest part of it, your agent will search for a job for you. When you get a job, it has its own percentage. That's how it works. You can't look for a job for yourself. That is why some players, they give like two agents, they give them mandates. If I give a mandate to get me a job, automatically you're my agent, we get, we're going to contract. So that's it. So my advice for them is, you have to get a reasonable agent. Make sure you are a real player, you are a licensed player, you can play. Then you have, you have an agent, he can work for you. Yeah, I'm supporting Beshitar because of Amokachi. I just love the team. That is why I'm supporting Beshitar. I think uh, the biggest player is JJ Okocha. He plays in Fenerbahce. That was years ago. Yeah, you have Fenerbahce in Turkey. You have uh, Galatasaray. You have Beshitar. You have Tramzon. You have, uh, what they call it, Istanbul Big Shei Belediye spot. Then you have uh, maybe Bursa. Brussels sport, yeah. Yeah, you talk about fan, right? The biggest club they have, they have three clubs. They have biggest fan in this country, like uh, Fenerbahce, Galatasaray, and Deshitaj. These are the famous teams. You know, Galatasaray was once uh, UEFA Champions League owners. So they're very famous, so they have fans. So I think Galatasaray have fans. Yeah, what a footballer should do when you're preparing, you have to be serious in your training. Face your program. Stay away from women. What you should not do. You stay away from women. So you can rest. That's why they call, they have concert, uh, a concentration camp. You understand? You go there to concentrate. 
So you stay away from women, you don't go to club, you prepare against uh, the game you're having ahead of you. So you must stay far from women and be fully prepared. Thank you very much. That, that question is a very good question because in Turkish national team, you know, Turkish, they believe themselves that they are very good. I think the, the last time Turkey qualified in the tournament was uh, 2000 and uh, when? 2000 and some, I can't remember, nine or whatever. That was the time they qualified in World Cup. They took third place. Two, sorry, 2002. That was the last time. Yeah, Korea, Japan, thank you. That was the last time they qualified. So they don't have classic players, but they want their children to play. Look at other countries, for example. They nationalize, nationalize players. If you watch Europe teams, all of them, look at France. They have foreigners, blacks. They dominate. So they are, look at England. They have blacks. Look at Sweden. Look at Finland. Look at Finland. Austria. They have black players. Alaba, a captain, a black man, captain. I mean. In Turkey, they don't even give you nationality to play in their, in their, in their national team. Not to, they put claws in their professional side. You can't play Division 2, you can't play Division 3. They need to grow up players, foreigners. When you see the good foreigners, train them. Then you can give them pass for the, the country. So that is the problem. They are very low in performance. Every day are very low. So they need to come together and walk the children and comprises of foreigners as well. Everybody needs to come together. You see the best player, you take the best player. The player will make your country proud. You understand? So that is the problem in the national team. They are very bad this season, very bad. Okay, in Nigeria, we are, Nigerian system of football is very wrong because number one, it's unprofessional. The people holding the positions in Nigeria, they, they used to travel, but they don't copy what they see abroad. They, they are not running football very well in Nigeria. A professional team don't have complete set of jerseys to train. Even training kids, they don't have anything. But look at Europe, even the amateur, they have dressing rooms, they have stadiums. You understand? They need to learn from Turkish very well because this country is, they are balanced in football. They've sat down and know what is football. So they know the, 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 the movement of football the progress of football and the children to build them up. Nigeria is not like that. In Nigeria, professional team you are playing is like just amateur, nothing. Nothing. You, be, you play, you are not being paid. Eight months, nothing. And it's very, very unprofessional Nigerian football. Very, very unprofessional. They need, I think they need to learn more from Turkey. Thank you guys for watching once again. I hope you found the interview and the questions interesting. If you have any question whatsoever, please do drop it at the comment section and I'll be there once again to try as much as possible to provide answers to them. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.